dear R and D. I'm assuming that's Rock and Doc and not Research, Research and, and Development. Uh, I found that's the wrong wrong address. <laughs> Sorry, Joyce. Definitely you know. the wrong address. Uh, I found that not long ago, uh, my son had a heroin problem. So that's Oof. sadly common. That, that's uh, like uh, it's awful. It's, it's it's like leukemia used to be. Yeah, you and know, it, and a young person's disease, fatal sometimes. So yeah, yeah and it's taking it's the place young. of accidents. It's yeah. the, the leading cause of death for young yeah. people. Um, well, good news. Okay. So good news for Joyce. Uh, good. Thank God uh, he just finished a 28-day program, uh, and he great. looks great. He looks a lot better, she says. <clears throat> but it sounds like she's having some trouble. Mm -hmm. So it says, trouble is, uh, I'm still walking on eggshells. Mm. Uh, very, you know, that's that's yeah. a difficult place to be. Yeah. Uh, when can I be sure he's safe? Thanks. Uh, Sign Joyce. Yeah. All right. So some key words there would be be yeah. sure, safe. Uh, yeah. She's walking on eggshells. Yeah. I mean, that's tough. That is very tough. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Joyce, I I totally understand where you're coming from uh, in 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 this regard because, you know, as we were just kind of commenting before that. Your, sounds like your son having a problem with heroin puts him in the category of, um, you know, kids who have this terrible disease, mm -hmm. um, life-threatening. Yeah, and, and it just seems so different than it was in the past, but mm -hmm. we are here now. We're here um, now. But, the, you know, so, so I, 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 being a counselor, I, mm -hmm. I do talk to a lot of parents. Okay. And, and a lot of people we, we treat also have kids who have drug problems That's as right. well. So, you know, they are, are always... Uh, you know, I'm getting help. How can I save my kid, or how can I change right. my kid? <clears throat> right. You, you know, you can't. First of mm -hmm. all, you can arrange your life to make sure that you're being supportive and not enabling. Mm -hmm. But uh, for Joyce, like that whole idea of, of uh, when can she exhale? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, is there a time? I mean, is it a brain chemistry thing? You know, I know well, it's behavioral, but well, there's a brain chemistry component to it. And I want to get back to you know, kind of the. The Joyce's perspective as well, because mm -hmm. I think that's almost as important as, as what's going on with her son. Is that, um, you know, if you're you're looking at when um, things may be, you know, clearly solidly better mm. in recovery for your son, there's probably some. <laughs> that's a, that's a some, tough ask. Yeah, there's some maybe some milestones. I mean, of course, you talk about the you know some certain anniversaries, you know, thirty days. Uh, oh, the chip three days. Months. Yeah, the chip days. Yeah. yeah. So, the, but there's th there, there's a wisdom in that. Absolutely. So, so you know, and you know maybe from brain chemistry that you know clearly after periods of time, you know there's a healing that happens. You know, because you have a, when you have the insult of the, the intoxicated state mm -hmm. and withdrawal state and back and forth and then all the chaos that is really very stressful on on body and brain tissue happening that. Uh, there's damage that's done, and that takes time to heal. And, and brain tissue just takes longer to heal than does um, other. You know, like you scrape your skin, that's probably, I don't know, a week you get better, mm -hmm. you know, break a bone, a few months to, you know, get the healing going. And the brain tissue is really more, you know, a, a year or longer. I have a question so, for yeah. you. So we've talked about post-acute withdrawal syndrome mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. past, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you can find that in other episodes. Don't want to mm -hmm. go too deep into it, but, yeah. or look it up. But I'm wondering, is that something that, somebody close to the person with it can sort of catch by osmosis that chaotic thinking that behavior you know people are always kind of like they, they're on that they're just mm -hmm. kind of vibrating the wrong mm -hmm. way do you think Joyce could yeah. be feeling some of that I think so and I think that the thought that maybe Joyce can even have control over things she, you know keep, keeping the, the word and keeping the son safe or you know kind of thing or kind of has that notion when that, can she be sure he's when, safe yeah when can be she sure that, uh, um, you know, that's, I don't... Uh, th Is that even possible to be sure that he's safe? No, I think uh, you, can, you can, you know, be reassured when you see signs of good, solid recovery, mm -hmm. you know, and, and one, an easy one would be that people are able to have fun. Yeah. You know, outside enjoying of... Enjoying life Enjoying again. life, you know, and just getting really into something in a very joyful way, you know, and not mm -hmm. just mechanically into it, but really, you know, earnestly and, you know, deriving a lot of pleasure and, and um, you know, usually things like with relationships or contributing back to society, things like that, that, mm -hmm. you know, that's typically people feel good about. And when you see your son or, or someone you care for, being able to have that, 
then, uh, then I think that represents some of the healing that's happened in the brain. So like like maybe a membership in a twelve step fellowship membership well, in, in also, a meaningful way not just sort of yeah we'll get to the point where you are engaged and enjoy sponsoring mm -hmm. the giving back you yeah. know and get a lot of pleasure out of that as opposed to and that does take a while yeah I mean you you mentioned sponsoring I I certainly would not want to sponsor who has six months clean or a year clean mm -hmm. so yeah. you're talking about eighteen months two years mm -hmm. you yeah. know and there's um, physiology behind this yeah yeah. Um, well, just, just briefly, I'll just, you know, you can use my own experience, but as somebody in recovery, um, it took me a while mm -hmm. before my family could look at me. Not, not that they didn't trust me, because I believe they did, although they may watch this and tell me differently. <laughs> yeah, it's, but uh, it's never still don't trust you. Yeah. Right. It's only been 10 years, right? Almost yeah. 10 years. Um, but it's not that they didn't trust me. They didn't trust that I wasn't going to hurt myself again, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, had, uh, I own a handgun, mm -hmm. so my parents took that. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. wouldn't give it back for right. at least a year, right? right. Uh, and, and so the, Not the, a bad idea, actually. No, it's actually. a good idea. Yeah. Um, right. But things like that, you know, my mother would call, or I would call her, and she would be like, so what's wrong? Mm -hmm. It took a, little, took a long time for her to just go, oh, it's my son calling. Mm -hmm. he's, he's probably giving, giving me, going to make a joke, or, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, a fun call instead mm -hmm. of a I need help call. Mm -hmm. uh, I need help, I need money. Right, uh, right. like, like yeah. once I stopped leaning on right. them and stopped right. being that person, I think mm -hmm. then they were able to start changing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. their behavior. So maybe yeah. when Joyce, you know, when, when you, you see your son changing in ways where, you know, maybe he just pops over for lunch and brings you lunch or he just mm -hmm. calls and says, hey, I'm just calling to say what's up yep. versus, yeah, man, I got I to gotta pay the rent. Mm -hmm. You know, those kind of behaviors are indicative of change. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's longer than anyone wants. It does. It does take. It's a matter of months, at least. At you least, know. I think we're really talking longer than. I'm trying to be nice. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just really, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it's got to be realistic. It's going to take a bit of time. Yeah. Um, and it also and, depends on how yeah. severe the problem yeah. was and how long. Yeah. The other end of the equation. I mean, this, there's, uh, of course, as a parent, you're going to be concerned. I mean, of course, um, you know. I think what's important is to know that, and really understand that, there's nothing. You know that you can do to you know make this happen you no. can you know make your make it happen for yourself that you have a, a degree of, of peace and have the and, and and a positive relationship with not only your son but with other people you know and um if often, we could make them happen yeah make them do things yeah. then you and yeah. i would have much yeah. easier jobs yeah yeah <laughs> we wouldn't be out of work we have 100 yeah. percent success yeah. rate it's amazing <laughs> But you know, I think I was thinking like something for Joyce, like maybe Noranon or Alanon. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, you know this a, a group of people who are in a similar situation and mm -hmm. and somehow or other manage and and um, you know, have a community. And Alanon is a great program. I I'll, I'll plug it because mm -hmm. that's my main mm -hmm. uh, source of recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, I just found Alanon to be just mm -hmm. uh, very spiritually enlightening mm -hmm. and, and allowed me to focus on my stuff mm -hmm. and not yeah. other people's stuff. Yeah. And yeah. and by doing that, I became much freer. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, Joyce, good luck. Yeah, good luck. And, and, you know, get back to us and let us know, you know, how things are going, how's, mm -hmm. what's happening with yeah. him. And, and look up Al-Anon, Naranon. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Smaller towns, you might have to drive a little bit to find yeah. a Naranon meeting. Um, but uh, well worth the effort. Yeah. Uh, I'd agree. So, all, all right. right. There you are. Well, <laughs> I'm Rock. And I'm Doc. And we'll see you later. Bye.